I think the other thing that I would like to talk about is cross-generational debt. All right. Okay. Okay. The cross-generational debt is debt passed on from a parent to the child. Mm. And this is not new. It has been with us um, from Bible days. Yeah. Uh, in Second Kings chapter 4, verse 1, the lady uh, who was the widow yes. talks the to Elisha. The servant is dead. Yeah. The debtors are coming. And you know, the interesting thing is there is, there is, there is uh, I wish we could, aha, uh -huh. It says that a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elisha. Debt makes you cry. Mm. If you haven't cried because of debt, your day is coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, now that we are learning, that uh -huh. day will not come. Okay. Yeah. But listen to her story. Mm. And her story goes like this. You know, she, she, she circles the issue. Yeah. And this is exactly what happens to debt. Your servant, my husband, is dead. Mm -hmm. As if Elisha didn't know. Yeah. And you know that your servant, servant. feared yeah, the Lord. The Lord. He was like, a believer. You know what? Mm. This guy eh, mm. paid fees for people. Yeah. Mm. He prayed, he fasted. Yeah. He served. He Lord. served. He yeah. was in the choir. Mm. You know, he was in. in <laughs> <laughs> he was a business <laughs> garage. Yes, yes, yes. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. Uh huh. And the creditor is coming. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Your servant, my husband. Is dead, mm. and you know your servant feared the Lord, mm. and the credit card, uh -huh, to take my two sons as his slaves. Now, debt brings a lot of shame. It does. Yeah, totally. This lady knew where Elisha was, but she feared to approach him. She feared to send an SMS to him or a WhatsApp. Mm. I'm sure the the prophets had a WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> she feared, like, how do I mention that? Uh, the creditors are coming. Mm. And she had tried in her own strength to, to actually clear resolve. It yeah, mm. uh, to ask for a reschedule, mm. to ask for a reduction in interest. A waiver or cancellation. A waiver or something you know, like that. Has died. But now, debt doesn't know anointing. Not at all. The man was a prophet, but still debt came for the guy. <laughs> and he couldn't pray away debt. Mm. That's when I tell people that, you know what, you behave yourself into debt. Right. And you behave yourself out, out of, of debt. debt. You ain't going to pray about getting out of debt. God will forgive you, but you'll pay for the consequences of what? Of debt. the debt, yeah. Debt, getting out of debt is a process. First of all, getting in debt is a sweet, small sweet. Process. And it's very quick. <laughs> yes. I've been told that the person who comes to give you the debt is dressed a certain way. Uh -huh. Yeah, they look 